Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video I will teach you how to make a battery tap spot welding machine. Now the cost of the cheapest spot welding machine available online was around $100 and its weight was 7 kgs. So I decided to make it at home. Now the battery that you see here is a 15.6 volts rated at 7Ah that I am going to use to power my spot welding machine. And the capacitors that I will use for this project will be 15 volts rated at 74,000 microfarad. Now the capacitors here as you can see have been connected in parallel to increase their capacitance without changing their voltage. The black colored wires connected to the capacitors indicates the negative terminal and the blue colored wire connected to the capacitors indicates the positive terminal. Now the negative terminal of the capacitor has been connected to the negative terminal of the battery with the positive one being left open. So guys this is a 12 volts incandescent bulb from a motorbike and you can use any bulb available rated at 12 volts DC. So guys one wire from the bulb will be connected to the left open blue wire connected to the capacitor while the other wire of the bulb will be connected to the positive terminal of the battery. These are the two copper electrodes that I got from a split phase induction motor. This method is used to protect the battery from getting damaged when the spot welding is performed because the entire system gets short circuited. So before the battery gets short circuited, all the available voltage of the short circuit will fall on the bulb which takes only 2 amperes to glow. So that is going to protect the battery by glowing itself. This is a magnetic cylinder, the bore size of which is equivalent to 18650 lithium ion battery and it is going to perform two functions first of which is holding the battery in one place and the second one is inducing magnetism in the battery with which it is going to hold the strip in one place before it is welded. So guys as you can see that the welding is good and I am trying to put all types of pressures on it but still the strip is not coming off indicating a good welding. So let's try another on a positive terminal of the cell.
so guys that would be all about the video and i hope that the explanation was enough for you to start up with your own project thank you so much for your time please hit like and don't forget to share and subscribe